recently, uh, we had the opportunity to drive Bugatti's new Chiron hypercar. It is $3 million. And everything about this car is just massive numbers. And what do I mean by that? I'm talking about 10 radiators to simply cool the car, 16 cylinders, four turbochargers, a top speed of 261 miles per hour. We're talking about the ability to drain its whole fuel tank at top speed in just nine minutes. And that's a 26 gallon tank, it's massive. The first thing you notice when you see the Bugatti Chiron are these eight striking LED headlights with four on each side, they're straddling a Bugatti horseshoe grill. Stepping to the side of the car, and the first thing you'll really notice is this very pronounced curve. It looks almost like a big C. Now, that curve is designed to look like uh, the embellished signature of Ettore Bugatti, the man who founded uh, the Bugatti car company. And it also uh, is a throwback, an homage, if you will, to Bugatti's classic Type 57 Atlantique, which is uh, generally considered one of the most beautiful cars ever made. The back of the Bugatti Chiron is dominated by one major, major feature, and that is what looks to be a massive strip of LED lights. It is actually 84 separate lights that are designed to look like one single unit. Believe it or not, this is Bugatti Chiron designer Akim Anscheid's favorite feature on the car. And I tend to agree with him. It's striking, it's unique, no one else has anything that looks like this. Another feature you simply can't miss on the Bugatti Chiron is its exposed engine. It is big, it is loud, and it generates so much heat that they simply couldn't put a hood on it. Stepping inside the Bugatti Chiron, and you'll notice something very interesting. There's no infotainment screen. It's one of the few cars on sale today to not have an infotainment screen at all. Whatever features you need to control are all controlled in the instrument cluster in front of the driver. The reason for that is Bugatti wanted this car to be timeless. They want people to be able to come back to this car 20, 30, 40 years from now and have it look as modern and as chic as it does today. And unfortunately, we simply don't know if that big screen will be uh, in fashion decades from now. So they decided not to do it. So what is the Bugatti Chiron like to drive? Well, it's simply like no other car in the world. The Bugatti Chiron is unique in the sense that it isn't a pure hypercar. Unlike its rivals from Ferrari and Porsche and McLaren, those are race cars for the road. The Chiron isn't. At 250 miles per hour, the Bugatti Chiron is designed to be as easy to drive as a Volkswagen on the highway. As a result, it's friendly, it's approachable, it is incredibly easy to drive and it's comfortable. But don't get me wrong, this car is not boring. When you fire it up, the engine rumbles, it's loud, it generates an incredible amount of heat. When you rev it, it just it shakes the room. <laughs> It is simply the best car I have ever driven. It's also the most expensive car. And for that money, it absolutely delivers. As crazy as it sounds, at three and a half million dollars, it's absolutely worth it because there's nothing else in this world that can do what the Bugatti Chiron can do.